I was facing all the sunlight While our feet swung freely from the bridge The bridge You asked if I'd save you If you were crazy enough to take a swim A swim I tried, tried to make you see June of 2019. Yeah, we started this process in June of 2019. Um, so we've been going on nine, almost ten months. It was originally supposed to be finished in January, and then February, and here we are, March 27th, 2020, closing on our house. Um, so a little bit about the house. It's four bedroom, three and a half bath. It has a flex room. Um, not really know what else. It's a little under 3,000 square feet. Yeah, it's like 2,870. It probably sounds like a little big for just the two of us. Um, but resale value would make more sense to get a bigger house. So when we go to sell it, a lot of people around here don't want to buy two bedroom homes. Plus, I work from home, obviously. So having the extra space is really um, helpful to me. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and show you the front, um, the entrance, and yeah, let's go. Welcome to our new home. Alright, so this is um, the flex room when we first walk in. This is going to be Zach's um, game room. We're going to put our couch, our old couch in here. We've got a TV for in here. Pretty um, basic. We had a hard time figuring out what we wanted to do in this room. Um, obviously, it's typically a office, but it's I didn't want my office to be down here and like the first thing that you see is all of my chaotic mess. <laughs> Um, so we ended up deciding to just go with a game room for now. But yeah, so after the flex room, we can go down the hall and we have a closet right here. A big closet. This is like massive. Storage. You can go back here, boxes and whatever. And then we have the half bath. So this is the only bathroom downstairs. There's a linen closet in here. Yeah. It's really quick. I feel like I need to And this is the, like, my favorite part of the house. Obviously, the kitchens are a huge part to homes. Uh, we got to design everything in here, so we ended up going with gray cabinets and uh, a marble countertop. It's kind of marble. What's it called? Lyra. Lyra. Um, so, yeah, this is the kitchen. Our uh, fridge is going to be here, what, next week? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we got slate appliances, so obviously our fridge is also going to be a GE slate appliance. We are going to be putting two pendant lightings in here. We haven't taken them out yet. Not 100% sure what we like. And we also went ahead and got a matte black um, bigger faucet. What else is there to do in here? So we also bought matte black pools for all the cabinets. So all of them are going to be pools. None of them are going to be knobs. Um, we got soft closing cabinets. And then we also have um, a pretty decent sized pantry here. That would be fun to organize and fill. I think I want to change the color of this door. Should we change it? I don't really like I don't know. Gray. It's like a bluish gray. It's not the same as the cabinets and it's like throwing it off to me. I think we should go a little bit darker. We really love contrast and design. So that's why we're doing the matte black pools. We're going to be doing a uh, dark gray slate tile. Um, backsplash. Backsplash, yeah. So that's going to go there. So we really we like the contrast. I think we don't want everything to just be like white and gray. So our base stuff is white and gray, but now we kind of want to bring in like natural colors and um, 
Our bar soles are going to be matte black with a caramel leather material. Um, I don't know. So that's the kitchen. We have a dining room area here. We're going to replace this light. We don't have a table yet. We have one that we had in our old apartments, but we're probably not going to keep it for very long at least. Um, yeah, so we're going to get a table to go here and then it brings you into our living room. This living room is massive. Obviously, it's a open concept floor plan. Floor plan. Um, we're going to be doing... Is there a Yeah. We have that since we're doing it, but I wasn't ready to do that. I think it goes, yeah, this way. This is a big sectional. We just bought a rug. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the living room. And then, obviously, if you turn back around here, that is a walkway to leave the house. And then, if you follow this way, we go into the garage. It's a two-car garage with a little bit of extra space. Perfect for motorcycles. So it's pretty self-explanatory in here, obviously. If you go back in here, we have this uh, open space here, which is probably going to be one of the first projects that we can It's a little eat. mud room. Yep, it's like a mud room. We're going to put like cubbies or whatever you want to call it in here with baskets and whatnot. I want that to be done um, fairly new. Because we always end up just throwing stuff in random places and not fun. And then right here, we have another closet. A decent sized closet, actually. So. And then I guess we can go upstairs. Alright, so when you get up here, we have a little seating area type thing, I guess. I don't even know what you call it. Probably won't do anything here. Um, but this is the master bedroom. So it's a really good size for us. We are going to be putting our bed here on this wall. We got our dresser that's going to go here. And our TV is actually going to go on that wall, right? Yeah. Yeah, on that wall. Um, so that's that. And if you walk this way, we each have our own walk-in closet, which is phenomenal. So excited for that. <laughs> um, they're both really, really good sizes. I think yours is actually, yeah, this is definitely going to be yours and it's smaller. Sorry. Yeah. And then this is our master bath. Another thing I'm so stoked for. This tub is like my dream. I'm a huge bath taker, so having this is gonna be so nice. And then, is there, there's a light to go in there, right? Yeah, it's the last one. So yeah, that's our shower, and then our tub, we have another closet here. So that's going to hold, you know, towels and stuff. And then our, and it's on right there. And then there's the um, toilet room. We have to get more pools for here, too. Alright, so we are now going to be heading into the other side of the house. That was the last one. Um, this is going to be my boutique room. One of my offices are going to go in here. And then we have... This is going to be the bathroom for like guests and whoever else, I guess. Anyone that's not in the master bedroom. Um, and then we have another closet here and then this room uh i think this yeah this room is going to be like just a whatever room until we have a baby and it will be the nursery. I love this room. It's very bright. So this bedroom is going to be the guest bedroom. We are going to bring in our um, bed from our old apartment into here. 
And they're gonna have their own separate bathroom, so any guests that come here to stay have their own bathroom. They don't have to worry about using any of our stuff. And then they also will have a closet. I will also probably be using this as more storage for me. Um, another boutique room, I guess. Cool. <laughs> and then we have the laundry room. So yeah, our washer and dryer are gonna go there. I'm gonna, don't judge me, but I'm gonna definitely like make it cute in here and decorate it and whatnot. I don't know, I've always wanted a fun laundry room. So I'm going to. Except I found out that wallpaper is super expensive. Yeah. Nope. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go back downstairs. All right, so that is pretty much the finished product of our house. We move in on Friday the 27th. Sorry, we're slouched down. You're sitting on my Starbucks drink. Um, but yeah, so we move in on Friday the 27th. We are planning on bringing you guys along for the decorating process. We're probably gonna ask you a bunch of questions on Instagram as well, so be ready. I still think my blue rug is all, better. All of his stuff keeps, um, like whenever I do a poll on Instagram, his is always one that loses and he was really salty about it yesterday. <laughs> we ended up going with the, uh, if you follow my Instagram and participated in the poll, we ended up going with the, we get more now with the uh, grayish, brownish, bluish rug. So, yeah, that's the finished product. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.